guys welcome back to this channel and if it's your first time coming back to this channel consider subscribing termination resignation your labor rights when leaving a job in the uae we talk about the termination resignation when you're leaving a job in the uae notice period some of the important information you should know remember Despite having what we call clear guidelines, employee ri employees' rights are continue to be violated or violated in a way by the employers. Why is this happening? Tune into this channel. Hi guys, welcome back to this channel. And if it's your first time to come back to this channel, consider subscribing. By the way, don't forget to support this channel by pressing the notification bell. It will be the only way that you'll be updated when I upload a new video. Remember, it's makes from the mess creation. The only channel where you have the true information. That will never information that will never survive in the Gulf countries as you come to work. To know your rights, to know what you're supposed to do, what you're not supposed to do, and how to live. Yes, termination, resignation, notice period, what you should know. If you are leaving your job in the UAE or if you want to leave your work or want to leave your company in the UAE remember despite these things being clear or having what clear guidelines by the labor laws in the UAE most employees have ended up being exploited by their employers why are we continuing to be exploited by the employers because we, we are not aware we do not have the information regarding these laws and these situations that we get to go through every single moment of day. What are we talking about? Someone would want to resign. He's already three months in a company and he wants to resign. He doesn't know what is the basis, what, what procedure do you take to resign, and when are you, what timing are you supposed to resign? Someone wants to terminate a contract. Where, I, where do you want to terminate the contract from? What is making you terminate the contract? By the way, did you know that before even you terminate the contract, your employer has a clause in the labor law that will enable him to terminate you before you terminate yourself? Which is something that we need to understand in one way. Yeah? So in this video, we are going to talk about, we are going to highlight a few of these things. We are going to talk about one, which is uh, resigning. That is one situation. Then we are also going to talk about termination. You are going to terminate. What are you supposed to do? What procedure are you supposed to take when you are going to terminate? Then we are going to talk about the notice period. Such that at the end of it all, you can differentiate between resignation, termination, and the notice period. Such that you will not end up ruled out, you will not end up being exploited by your employer. Let's go straight into these terms and understand clearly what do they mean. First of all, when you look at resigning or resignation, when you resign with your employer, either acceptance or rejection, your, you are legal. Okay? You have the right to resign. You resign. You write a resignation letter. You, say, you send it to your human resource or your employer. It is legal. It is accepted to resign. It is you are allowed to resign. But remember, it may either be submitted by what you call email or in person. And therefore, that contractual date or that date that you submit that resignation, that is the start date of resignation date. Let's say, for example, you write that email today. I'm, I'm so and so, I'm mixed so and so, I'm resigning from my position starting from this date. As dated now of 4th of January 2022. Yes, your resignation date or your, 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 your period will start reading from that. That is by the legal means. It will start reading from that time. And that time that you either send by email, you send an email to your to employee human resource, that is when your resignation starts at that time. That's what you should know. There is no any other date that is added on. So knowing if I'm resigning or if I sent an email on 30th, 
of 1st of January. So that means I'll have January, I'll have December. I'll have January, I'll have February. Then by March 1st should be my last date of working with my employer. Because it's already two months, in, in case it is two months, in case it is two months, it's one month. Then it's from 1st January to 30th January. And if it is three months, then it is from that time until 30th of March. So meaning that it is legal and it starts from that period. Then we look at scenario two, we look at situation two, where you are, there is what we call termination. Remember, remember that the time, the receivable difference a bit based on whether you are terminated or terminating is what is considered a bit of dismission. For the termination, you may either want to terminate yourself from the contract or the employer may be terminating you from the contract. But remember, when we are talking about this, uh, 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 these scenarios, the reason may be, why are you terminating your contract? You may be having something different. You may have a new job. You may not want to work anymore with your employer. You terminate yourself. Then another situation, you may be terminated by your employer at that time. But remember, it will all depend the scenario. You may want to terminate yourself, but remember you have to give that person a notice period. And you'll have to work until that notice period, period. And you may go. If it is one month, it is supposed to be one month, you are supposed to continue working your duties one month, then you'll go off. Then there are situations whereby your employer will terminate you, but he will say, he will add you some few days to work with him. But remember, those days must have been agreed, being agreed upon between the two of you, and you must get a pay according to what you've agreed to earn between that extended period. So, that is what the situation is, is all about. And remember, we talked about termination. You may terminate yourself if you not complete the contract. What will happen? You know? So, if you've not completed the contract and you've terminated yourself, he has a right not to, to repatriate you to back to your country. That's what we talked about. Still, situation two, we talk about the notice period. Some of us, we do not know what is the notice period. And when is the notice period? You know, you have to serve a notice period when resigning. And it may depend by your company or by the labor law in that country. If the notice period is two months, then you have to serve the two months. If the notice period is three months, then you're supposed to serve the three months until you finish up. But still, contractual does not stop you having an agreement. The, the relationship between you and your, your employer. If he says that uh, within the notice period of one month or two weeks or two months, you'll have to work and complete it and I'll pay you. Be, depending on that agreement, then he will pay. If he say without pay, then it will just be depend on what you call a contractual agreement between the two of you. Remember, your notice period is counted from the day you resign. Your notice period starts from the day you terminate your contract. The day you terminate or you are terminated or the day you submit your resignation letter to your project manager to your manager to your office or the human resource department that is where the notice period starts and to some employees depending on the efficiency and depending on the need they have at that time they may not have enough employee and decide contractually talk to you and say please within your your notice period of maybe two months or one month i'll pay you up work for me or continue working normally i'll pay you up or you can have an extension that one comes as a contractual agreement between the two of you so hope i've tried to share out with you and you try to understand so as you are in this company try to understand some of those basic simple terms they will help you to live 
They will help you to plan accordingly. You need to change company. You need to know. You need to go somewhere. You need to have a bigger opportunity. Those are small, small, we call them small items, but should be bearing and you should have them in mind. Thank you so much for coming back to this channel and thank you so much for tuning into this channel. Thank you so much. See you again in the next video. Don't forget to like, share, and comment. I'll always be more than happy to get back to you. This makes from the next question to you. See you again.